Hey everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're taking the test everybody has taken already. It's the Clickall Are You Ready For Christmas Test. I'm in the Christmas mood since October basically. I love the Christmas season so let's hope that I won't fail. I even bought some Christmas decoration. I actually wanted to make a haul but that didn't really work out so look at this it's cute isn't it like my whole room is filled with santas of all sorts i also got this one and this one so i have santas all around me enough about that so let's get right into the quiz the first question is how full is your jingle cave it's a it is barren without hope pray for my jingle cave well as i already said i have Christmas decoration around me and yeah I just love the Christmas season I would wrap myself um, in Christmas paper if I could so what it, did that even make sense okay but you can see me I'm even wearing a cute um, I don't know Christmas set so um, I'm, I'm, I'm so ready for Christmas um, I'm trying so hard but my humble jingle cave remains an embarrassment my grotto bursts with Christmas cheer. If it were any fuller, the geese would suffocate and the tinsel would melt and the bells would explode like shrapnel causing a great disturbance. Okay, this this is maybe even a bit too much for me. So I think it's a healthy amount still. <laughs> the next one. What Christmas mantra do you say over and over every day at sundown until you are dismissed? Follow the star retrieve, the baby follow the star re the breath of Donna sustains me, I breathe it, I, I breathe it every day. No enemy shall prosper, my Christmas is too strong. I'm a good little Christmas slot, I live in a good little Christmas hut. Uh, okay, I'll go with this one. How robust are your Christmas fantasies? They are not very robust, they are somewhat robust, but they do not keep me from fulfilling my obligations to my job and my family. Very robust, I'm rarely cognizant of the reality around me. The fantasies are all consuming fire, swallowing me beyond escape. I am now Christmas and Christmas is me. Yeah, that is me. Honestly, I could celebrate Christmas all year round. Um, I usually set up the Christmas tree in about October or November usually well end of October or yeah end of October I set it up and I usually remove the Christmas tree in about April so um, yeah I celebrate Christmas about uh, half a year every year so um, now you know <laughs> Okay, when the tired virgin is wheeled to your home on Christmas Eve who will you impersonate to make her clap? Frosty the human soul caged in a walking snow prison, Ralphie the boy who shoots his face off with a gun, the Grinch, or the Polar Express. Actually, I have to say the Grinch is my favorite, I don't know, Christmas character ever. I love the um, J uh, Jim Carrey Chris uh, Grinch movie, I love that one, I don't even know why it was so unpopular so it's it's probably one of my favorite movies of all time so i always go with uh, the Grinch. actually i have grinch pants on right now but i don't want to miss up the um green screen so i'll show you next time onto which list has the red jacket man carved your family's name the less than 20 mortal sins a list the more than 20 immortal sins list the list of perfect obedience to red jacket man the commendable hygiene list uh what i don't know less than 20 mortal sins i don't know which of the merry morsels do you feed your family the turtle dove shared black on a metal skewer the omelette stuffed with men okay that is nasty the festive grizzle wreath I do not feed my family merry morsels. So merry morsels are basically cake pops and sweets in general. Okay, I've I've never heard this expression before, so I don't know what this is about. I'm sorry. When the red jacket man is in your house, how will you make him go away? I have no plan. I was threatened to saw off the horns of his pets. Whoa, 
That is savage. I will shake a fist on Rata. I will hide with my family in a crawl space until he is finished. Well, I don't have a plan. <laughs> Could you possibly believe any more if you tried? Yes, there is doubt inside me and it brings me shame. No, I've taken all my vows. My belief is pristine. I would gladly die for Christmas. Well, I wouldn't die for Christmas, but... I don't know. I decline to answer this question probably. So what is this question about? Believe in in Santa Claus or what is this about? Because let's get the results. If I'm not in the Christmas mood according to this test, then I don't know what I should do. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <sighs> okay, so this quiz was complete nonsense. I'm super ready for Christmas. And what is this all about? I don't understand that. Um, this is bollocks. Okay, this was nonsense. All right, let, let's let's take a look. Let's try to find a better one. Okay, I just found the perfect quiz and who else should we believe? I mean, BuzzFeed has the answer. I'm sure about that. They need to have the answer. So let's see how Christmas am I. So, um, okay, these are a lot of answers. I'll be, um, I'll finish reading them out tomorrow. I, um, okay, how Christmas are you? Check off everything that applies. Okay, we can uh, check off everything that applies. That's good. So, how Christmas are you? You start to get excited a month before Thanksgiving. Yeah, as I said, I got excited in October, so it's way before Thanksgiving. Then we have, you only watch the Thanksgiving Day Parrot for the Big Santa Rubian? No. Uh, you listen to Christmas music year round. That's actually true. Um, and your favorite part of the year is when stores start playing it too. Yay! Uh, you've gone caroling. Well, I did that when I was a child, but yes. Uh, more than once, I don't remember. I think I did it twice. Um, you've gone caroling in costume because you're not even close to messing around. Well, we were, we were forced to. You bake Christmas cookies every year. Well, I don't bake them myself, but um, I like, you know, when mom makes them for me, I won't say no. <laughs> well, variety is very important to me. Actually, I have my uh, biscuits right next to me. So take a look. And even look at this box. It looks lovely, doesn't it? I love it. Um, and look at this. Look at my cool. Look at my biscuits. I already ate half of them. So I had two boxes. One is already gone. Um, yeah. You would do questionable things for peppermint bark. Well, peppermint bark isn't... I don't even know if it's... I, I don't know if they are selling it here in Germany. Your heart leaps when Starbucks brings out the red cups every year. I actually don't really go to Starbucks unless they sell um, pumpkin spice coffee. And that is usually in October or September. So I go there once a year and that's basically it. You unironically own and wear a Santa hat. Well, um, yes. <laughs> and a reindeer antler headband. No, I don't have that, but um, I wanted to buy one when I went um, Christmas shopping yesterday. I'm not even lying. Um, you've thrown a holiday party. I never did that, but I'd really love to do it. So maybe one day. You throw the definite okay, no? You spend hours crafting the perfect holiday playlist, yes? And if you may say so yourself, it's amazing. I actually really like the Christmas songs from the 50s and 40s and 30s. These songs, oh my gosh, I love them so much. Like uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, I live. All right, your Christmas tree is on fleek. Well, I'd say so, yeah. And your holes are pretty much decked to the max. Well, I don't have holes, um, so no, it's sadly not decked to the max. Uh, you aspire to have or already have one of those houses with all the lights on. Um, no, I don't. And I think it's a bit, it's a waste of energy. I, 
I'm not gonna lie, so that's maybe a bit too much. And it's not even really popular here in Germany as well. I think it's more of a of an American uh, thing. Uh, yeah, I have I have so many Christmas sweaters. Um, I actually wanted to put on my Fallout Christmas jumper, but I didn't find it, so I had to go with this one. Uh, that you wear pretty much every day leading up to Christmas. I even wear Christmas jumpers way before Christmas and way after Christmas, so I don't really care because I think they still look nice, so why shouldn't I wear them after or before Christmas? So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, you start thinking of what to get people's gifts month a month in advance. Yeah, that's actually true. You're super proud and how important your gifts usually are. Yeah. Like a lot of people just get gifts that they want for themselves, but you're actually really considerate. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, it is. It's such a skill. Oh my god, I'm so I'm such a generous god. You can wrap gifts very well. I can do that, yes. You can wrap gifts very quickly and very very well. Well, I already said that I can wrap them well, so yeah. Seriously, you're like a ninja? Okay, no, th that's a bit over the top, okay? L let's calm down for a second. You have successfully organized a secret Santa. No. Your favorite movie is a holiday movie. Yes, I said that before, I love The Grinch, and yep, yeah, I love that movie. At least three of your top favorite uh, movies are holiday movies. Well, no, I... No, because Harry Potter isn't really a Christmas movie, is it? You audibly guess when you catch a glimpse of a Christmas tree through a window, yes. And have felt moved to tears at the sight of a street lit. Oh my gosh, I love that. And you wish that the world were always as wonderful as it in the weeks leading up to Christmas. Oh yes. So you carry that spirit along with you in your heart all year round. Yes. Combine that with countless opportunities to get ugly, wasted. Yes. 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 You're fairly pumped up about Christmas, which seems like the healthy way to go about things these days. You know how to take joys where you can and appreciate the little things that make the season bright. Yay! Are you ready for Christmas? Um, are you ready for Christmas? Because I certainly am. I'm wishing you the best time. And yeah, keep, keep your eyes on my channel. I'll be uploading quite a few videos during the Christmas days, during the Christmas week, so have your eyes on the channel, like this video if you're excited about Christmas, if you love Christmas, and I don't know, just share some love, spread love, be nice to each other, and that's my message for you for this Christmas. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see each other very soon. Bye! Look how green my hand is. Ooh, bye. <laughs>